Well, it's guys, knives and tools. And, of course, anything I'm going to show you in this video is not new. The only new part of it is the price you're going to pay, what you might get, this, that, or the other. Now, if anyone knows, I use Milwaukee Tools. Um, and that's your Wolin. Woo! This is their Rover light that uses one of them there red lithium batteries, man. Well, I can't reach around the camera and take it apart because it's IP54 rated. We'll talk about that here in a second. Now, the deal they have at Home Depot now, which they're calling it a price reduction, and apparently they've reduced the price on quite a few things. Now, this is not new. This is an old light. Everybody knows it has 445 lumens or 450 lumens for two hours on high. You can turn it down to 100 lumens, and then it's going to run for about 11 hours. It is magnetic. That there magnet right there, man. I mainly use, you know, usually sticks on things that way. You can stick it on things so it's back, whatever. Now, it's a great inspection light. It's also a great light if you're working up under a hood or this, there, or the other. Now, yes, it takes the proprietary. Apparently, my hands are all, you know, this, there, or the other. Red lithiums. Now, what is a red lithium battery? A red lithium battery is an 18650. in a proprietary case. Easy comparison, there it is. Instead of having the anode and cathode, blah, 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 on each end, you've got them all there at the top. Stick it in there, only goes one way. Put it on here like that, just close it up. Now, IP54 rated, what does that mean? Well, the IP rating for anything, man, these things are rolling all over the place, rock and roll, is you have to take the two numbers separately. This is IP54 rated. I'm going to show you something else that's a little bit higher rated here in a second that just came in today. Now, this Rover light is $59 with the, you know, micro USB cord with Milwaukee logo, a spare battery, and then free gift with purchase is another battery, which is great for me because I had another one of these and I needed an extra, an extra battery for it. So out of the one, you know, because I bought that kit, now I've had this one for a while and used it. Um, for basically inspecting uh, the finishes on cars. When I'm washing and waxing a car or something like that, you can see the haze marks in it. You can do all of that. Now, so now I've got two complete kits with a spare battery that I can put in vehicles. That's awesome. Now, as I said, $59 with three batteries. The one that's in it, two extras at Home Depot. Now, is that a great deal? I don't know, but it works with what I work with. Uh, the I don't like the proprietary batteries, but you know, I've got them and I use them. Um, they're 20 some dollars a piece, I guess, if you buy them like that. I've never bought them like that, so we'll just see. Now, the deal they have now is like this. It just came in the mail today. Like I said, I don't have time for this table to dry. I've got a lot of things to actually put on video and a lot of things to show you. And some of them are time sensitive. This deal is $79. Now, what do you get for $79? None of this stuff is brand new. Uh, it's, it's just that that alone used to be $79. Now they're giving you a small battery bank. Um, and I'm assuming making the assumption there's only one battery here. I have no earthly idea. Anyway, 
We'll work it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, it feels like there's only one battery. Now, first things first. 1100 lumen flashlight. Everybody knows about this one. It's got the, you know, you turn it on, blah, blah, blah. Hold it, turns down, hold it again, turns down again, rock and roll, party on. And there we go. Now we're going to turn it off. So, comes with a charge cord again, and it's you at, you can charge it, the red lithium. Same, this red lithium is in here. You know, blah, blah, blah. Now, and it'll go from spot to flood, basically by sliding the front in and out. Now, let's get on the brass tacks of this thing. Now, this is IP67 rated, where this was IP54. So what you do is you take that first number, that's a six. That means it is basically dust and dirt sealed. The second rating is seven, which means it can go a meter underwater for, I think, 30 minutes. Look it up, learn it, this, that, or the other. Then you'll wind up and forget it down the road, just like I have. Even being an engineer and understanding this stuff, you basically wind up and go, you know, you just get used to it. <laughs> you can put it under a meter. Now, the problem with any of these ratings are, those are static ratings. Those are not dynamic. What is dynamic? This is dynamic. That's movement. That is not static. Static is... That's static. Nothing's moving. That means there's no additional forces being put by turbulence or the movement of the object. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, whatever. Four meters impact resistance. Well, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, chemical resistance, you know. It's aluminum, 6,000 series. Okay, rock and roll party on. So on high, it does 1.7 hours, 4.5, this, there, the other. You can read this shit, okay? Now, what they're giving out now with this flashlight is this battery bank, which is interesting uh, because I've been getting into battery banks here recently. Uh, of course, comes with a charging cord, blah, blah, blah. Your battery bank and a battery. Um... So you can charge this thing apparently there. There's an indicator. USB out. What's the output on this thing? 2.1 amps USB output. Uh, well, you're not burning anything up. Uh, it's not smoking hot output, but it's not a one amp like you'd get out of a Apple cord or any of that stuff that Amazon uses or most things use, usually use one amp. So you're charging it a little bit faster than that, double the speed. Um, and this has, of course, all of these are 3.0 USB. Now, uh, the uh, USB 3.0, red lithium. Okay. I'm assuming they're 3 amps. Ah, who the hell knows. Anyway, rock and roll. The... Uh, Anyway, they work. Uh, all of mine are 3.0s. They make a smaller one, uh, a USB something or other, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what it is. Um, but, you know, is it the best deal in the world? All this stuff, you know, this with, you know, three batteries and a cord for $59 for the Rover Lite. I love the Rover light. I like the light that it puts out. Not only do I use it when I work on things, but the electricity went out in my house the other day, and it's like I went to the Rover light, turned it on. It gave me a nice flood in the room. I really enjoyed it. Uh, did I use it on high? No, I used it on the low setting, which is 100, and uh, it was fine. It wasn't just, <laughs> you know, it, it wasn't making me want to run from it. The uh, And wasn't just blowing me out you know, that bad. That's one thing about a lot of weapon lights. If you use too much power, 
you can actually get enough wash off a wall uh, to really, really do a number on your eyes. So I'm gonna take these apart, this there or the other. These two together are $79 at the Home Depot. These are $59. Remember, each one of these is $28 a piece. Uh, now, are they probably going to come out with some bigger and better and this, there, the other, and blah, blah, blah? Yeah, maybe. Uh, but, you know, I tend to buy things after they've been through the cycle for a while. And uh, then, you know, other people get to deal with the nice little problems and the glitches and all the other crap and <laughs> everything else. And uh, you can get a much better value. This is Guys Knives and Watches, and uh, have a good one.